Now, a player Danny has been really impressed with during pre-season and start of season. It's one I've been impressed with, and you guys have as well. Let's talk about it. Hello, and welcome to this video. You could like, sh share, and subscribe to the channel. I would much appreciate it. Liking out the algorithm, sharing gets in front of people's faces, and subscribing lets me know you like the channel. Hit that notification bell to let you know when video go live. So, I'm expecting this player to play tonight versus Grimpy Town. Uh, because he did well when we played Hull. And who am I talking about? I'm talking about Sean Fuser. Uh, and he's done really, really well. The 19-year-old who's really stepped up into more of a permanent first team role at the moment while trying to get into that net bracket and the thing is he's 19 and the thing is you've got a player who's young who's ready to break through to the next stage and it looks more than likely that he's going to be staying at Sheffield Wednesday than leaving Sheffield Wednesday which is good you want the young talent to be here and around and trying to get into it and I think with the situation you've got with our midfield especially this is something I generally think you need to look at because I think there's a room for this player to get into the midfield area. So, Danny said, I'm convinced it will be most helpful for him to train with us again and again. He trained with us with, in the first team. He has changed in the changing room from academy to first team, which means he's always part of our training. And you see him day to day. He, he was injured in the academy for a long time, and you will always have have with players ups and downs but in training he had performed he has improved and making huge step forward uh it's fantastic to see i like his attitude he's very calm he's always listening and he wants to learn there are the tools you need to make it next step for young players it's not about doing one week two weeks it's about consistency coming next level for us hopefully we'll see him get the next opportunity to play so that's sounding more and more like that uh one Fuser is going to be playing in the first team very shortly, which is good. I think him coming off the bench or maybe starting some games is a good idea. I think just to get a development where we want it. And at the moment, in the midfield area, we are short. It, the midfield area is where we're short the most. And if we can improve the midfield area with some of our own players in, aka out of our academy, that's a better step. I think it's going to be a tough one for him, a tough step for him. But at the same time, I think it's smart. If we can use the academy to get players into positions that we need it without having to buy someone, it saves a bit on the bending. It saves us more chance. But I really think Sean is a really good player going forward. I think a lot of the fans like him as well. A lot of the fans have been looking at him going, he's really good. We want to see more of him. From the last couple of times we've all seen him play, they've all turned around and said that he looks like a really good player and he looks the part. So let's see what happens. I'm looking forward to seeing what we do next with him. Hopefully soon we will see more of a player coming through and playing some really good football. But here's the thing. we got to be the right player for us. We've got to make sure he's okay. We've got to make sure he's right for the team. But a young player coming through the academy, trying to get his first step into men football and he played a couple of games during pre-season he played in cup games it makes a lot of sense so hopefully we're going in the right direction here with Sean but the issue you've got with Sean is you don't know what they do next what they do next with him is going to like dictate everything one minute it might be ready to go in but like I said he had an injury it was ups and downs you have to be careful so we'll see what happens hopefully Wednesday can do something with him staying in the squad but it looks like he's improving coaches and Danny at the same time, which is what we want. 